Hey, this is uh, Phyllis. Uh, I just want to thank everyone that's been kind enough to come to my YouTube site and um, watch the videos that I've been uploading of me putting my uh, my uh, drums to the uh, old time gospel songs that I've been uploading. Uh, I haven't uploaded some videos uh, probably in about a month and wanted to let uh, you viewers uh, kind of know what's been going on with me. Uh, about four weeks ago, I was outside uh, doing some landscape work. I moved about three truckloads of uh, landscaping pebble, uh, some of the, like the little white pebble you may see uh, a lot of times in landscaped areas. And what happened was uh, doing the three truckloads, uh, you know, putting that shovel up in the truck as such, and and throwing it and moving it around. Uh, I got what's called a uh, repetitive stress injury. And what was going on, uh, I had woke up a couple of days later and my pinky uh, finger and my ring finger and throughout my palm, well, I was just completely numb. And the numb was constant, it never went away. Uh, so I went to my family doctor and you know he just said I had a pinched nerve and sent me to a neurologist. So when I went in to see the neurologist, you know, I said, you know, I got a little uh, you know, numbness in my pinky finger and my ring finger. He looks at me and said, you know, you've got to have surgery. And um, for this type of injury, usually they give you uh, anti-inflammatory medicines or try to put your arm in a splint. But where my numbness was so constant, uh, it was it, I was never getting any relief. Uh, that meant that the uh, nerve was being choked pretty bad uh, in my elbow. And um, that, that, that there was a lot of, of damage also. Uh, they call it, uh, in the uh, elbow, I, I've had surgery, uh, if you can see. Uh, but it starts out uh, in the elbow. That's where the uh, the ulnar nerve runs uh, right in through where the elbow, uh, the, where the funny bone channel is, and it comes down your arm, and it, like I said, controls the uh, feeling and the strength uh, through the pinky and ring finger. It also controls 14 muscles in your hand. Uh, they must refer to it as a pinch nerve or a uh, ulnar nerve entrapment. And, but the uh, correct terminology is called cubital tunnel syndrome. Like I said, that's a repetitive stress injury. And uh, like I said, the reason they didn't want to uh, try any medication or a splint or anything because mine had progressed uh, in such a very, very short time. Um, for example, like if you will, um, you know, hold out your hand as such, you will notice there's a muscle you can see very well in your hand. And like on this side of my hand, I don't know if you can tell it or not, but mine is just straight. I've lost that muscle and that muscle's lost forever. And I was losing a lot of uh, strength uh, in my hand and my arm, uh, pretty much like a stroke victim uh, was. And uh, one of the way, <clears throat> you know, that they were testing it out, you can hold your fingers like this and try to, you know, push on that finger. Or push on this finger, which, you know, you can't push this one in, but on this hand, you know, it was just really, really easy, and this one was, uh, I can't even hold it out that much, really, really easy. Uh, I was having problems uh, crossing my fingers or bringing my pinky and index fingers together, which, you know, over here is, you know, completely fine. And so I did go through the surgery, and like I said, it's just a little, uh, you can't really see it it's covered up. It's got a little one-inch cut. I think the doctor said maybe one or two stitches there. Uh, but the only problem is... Uh, that the surgery is not 100% effective and usually people uh, get about, it's about a 50% chance that you will get some relief. You will not uh, uh, always get the relief. Uh, what they uh, are telling me, the chances are my fingers are going to, and palm is going to be numb uh, pretty much for the rest of my life because of this type of uh, injury where it's located in the elbow. It's a little bit different than a wrist, the knee, or around the neck. And uh, you know, I won't have any uh, any physical therapy or anything. I'm sitting around working my fingers and you know moving around and trying to get the circulation going. And they said that the numbness, uh, what little bit is going to come out, it's going to take about a year because they said that the uh, nerve damage heals itself, uh, but it takes about one inch per month. So they uh, you know measured from my elbow to the tip of my pinky, and like I said, one inch a month, and that's just a little bit over uh, 12 inches. So I'm looking at right about a year. Or or uh, you know, a year and one month, and I am hoping that uh, you know I will get a lot of this uh, numbness gone because uh, the surgery was no problem. I uh, never had any pain. Never really took anything more than Tylenol for pain. Uh, but the biggest aggravation is uh, you wake up from the surgery and you, know, you think you're going to get that full relief, and, and you don't. You still have the exact same symptoms.
and it is very aggravating. You have your pinky finger and your ring finger numb and down through your palm and just is it's it's very aggravating. So, uh, you know, like I said, for I just wanted to be letting uh, uh, all you guys know that's been kind enough to come to my channel and watch the videos that um you know that I've been uploading. I really appreciate it and kind of wanted to let you know what was going on with me. Uh, I am on the road to recovery, and uh, I plan to be back on my drums tonight. I had the surgery on Wednesday, and I was out working in my yard today. Like I said, the surgery was no big deal. It's just a big aggravation of. Uh, when you come out of surgery, you expect not to have the same symptoms, but unfortunately, you do have the same symptoms, and it's a very long, you know, uh, drawn-out process. It takes a long time to heal. If it, you know, heals, you know, completely 100%, which they don't think that it will, they think I'm gonna still have a lot of numbness and tingling. Uh, but the main reason for the surgery. Uh, for a lot of you that, that don't know, uh, like I said, I was losing a lot of strength in my arm and in my uh, hand. And if they didn't go in and relieve that pressure, they went in, uh, like I said, around the funny bone area and cut that ligament to give that nerve uh, some room to move. Uh, if they hadn't have done that, I would just con uh, continue to have lost so much strength that I would just completely have lost the use of my left arm. And I didn't want to do that. And I had a really good reputable surgeon. and. You know, I had confidence in him, and like I said, I didn't want to just continue to lose strength in my hand and, you know, lose the use of my arm. So I went ahead and I did the surgery, and I feel really good about that. Uh, as far as the, the numbness, you know, fine. I do actually feel like I'm, you know, I feel like I'm getting that strength back today. I can really, you know, ball up my fist and all. And like I said, I'm working these fingers around on my own and, you know, can move with no pain or anything. So I'm really satisfied. So I just want to let you guys uh, know what's going on. And like I said, I'll be back on the drums tonight. and. Uh, kind of get this arm uh, still a little bit shaky, but uh, you know, get a little practice in. I'll be uploading some more, uh, some of the more uh, the old time gospel hits, and just thank you.